Free manual jump, what it is, is that you are going to pre-manual and jump after. So in previous video, I've already explained that you pre-manual and then you land on top of a jump. The pre-manual jump is rather than landing the front wheel on top of the jump, you're literally gonna let it jump. So you're gonna pick it up, pre-manual and jump. So in other words, um, you've got a double or a table. I would recommend you to do it on the table if you've never done this before. You are going to come in this way. You're gonna pre-manual and let the bike jump over the double. Why would you need that? Is that this technique, it will prevent you from jumping a long distance. Sometimes, depending on the track, uh, the doubles are very short. Like I remember, I did a race, actually 1999, World Championship in Valet. There's this huge starting hill, really big. And then at the bottom of it, it had this little double. The double was very, very small and short. And if you just jump it, you're just gonna over clear it. If you pre-manual manual it, there's just no way you could just bring that back wheel down there. Uh, it was just too steep. So a pre-manual jump really set you up right into the landing. So that technique was very, very useful for that race. Happened to be a world championship. So very important to have mastered that technique, okay? so. That's what that is. How you're going to learn how to do it is that, first of all, before you learn how to do this, I would recommend you to really master your manual. Okay, you need to be able to manual as long as the bike goes. All right, if you only like on a couple videos, I explained that uh, you need to learn how to manual one parking lot space and you know, two parking spaces and so on and so on. Man, if you have not mastered this manual and be able to literally go as long as the bike can go, don't even venture into that technique yet. Just don't score yourself the point of the scorecard, just skip right over it. And as you progress into your manual, you can expand further into the, the pre-manual uh, jump. The other things that you need to learn also is that really make sure that you manual, pre-manual, manual as well. Those are the steps. So step number one, manual very well. Step number two, pre-manual, manual very well. Master those two. Step number three, once those are mastered, then you can go ahead and learn how to jump that. How do I recommend you to do that? First of all, learn it on a table. So that way, if you're casing, if the bike don't jump and give you those surprises because you're not used to it, um, at least it's a table. Once you've done that, a good place to practice is literally on the street. This is what I would recommend you to do. Take your bunny hop tool, set up the bar really low, and manual a long distance. And then just hop the last part of the manual, and that will kind of give you a feel of it. Next step is to take this on the track. First step, pre-manual, manual. Second step, pre-manual and let the bike go. Let the bike float and make sure that your back wheel is a little bit lower so that way you're going to case it, but at least you're gonna get the feel of it. This is how you learn how to do it. If you already know how to do it and you feel it, just go for it. But if you're learning, a good step is, is just do one pre-manual, manual. Step number two, pre-manual and let the bike float and kind of case it on the landing. That's gonna give you a feel of it. And as you do this 10, 20, 30 times, comes a point where you're gonna feel the hop of it. You're gonna pre-manual and just gonna hop it with your feet, all right? Be careful at one thing. This is what's gonna happen. When you're gonna pre-manual and you're gonna to wanna to jump, the mistake that lots of people make at first is you're gonna to tend to wanna to go forward and you're just literally gonna dive in and you're gonna flip over your bar. That's what happened. Every sort of technique that involves a manual jump or a pre-manual jump, at the pivot point of the bike going from manual to a jump, uh, once you start doing that, it's gonna to wanna to pivot forward and I've seen lots of people crashing on those situations. So, 
you're going to pre-manual, you're going to jump and you're going to let the body sit a little bit on the back of the jump so that you can just jump naturally with it and see how it goes. As you progress with that, do it faster, do it a little bit on bigger jump and so on and so on. Another thing that I can encourage you to do if, you're going to, if you've never practiced that technique is don't rely on your speed a lot, all right? Go super slow pre-manual and jump and see what type of boost you can have starting from one one wheel. If you are able to pre-manual and boost a little bit and not rely on the speed, that's going to help you. I remember as a mistake when I first started doing that, I would only rely on speed. I would just pre-manual and just the bike would just flow. Nice and all, but that's not controlling it. So go slow pre-manual and help it boost a little bit with your leg and see how that goes. As you practice that, go a little bit faster, boost a little bit less. 100% speed, it'll come a point where you're just gonna pre-manual and the jump will do it itself. At this point, when that happened, the length of your jump is gonna be shortened by a half, all right? So depending on the jump out there, depending on the track, if the doubles are very short, that is a very useful technique to have in control.